What's good guys, it's your brother Fatly Fred here and welcome to episode number one of the Pokemon Platinum Overclock The first video going up on the channel. It is a randomized Nuzlocke versus um, Which we have bumped up to the extreme 20% level modifier on uh, Battle mode has to be set lots and lots of rules, but we're going to sit here and we're going to enjoy the most, most nostalgic music. This is Gen 4, Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, my games growing up. But of course, I should probably introduce myself. I am Fred. I am the Fatbelly Fred. Fredo, Freddy, Draco, whatever. Yeah, Draco, I know, right? Um, but yeah, I am here. I am hoping that we can make this series... Something really fun. I've made this super, super difficult for myself. We will go into a lot of the rules as we progress. And I am, yeah, I'm just so, so excited to get this underway. It's a series I've wanted to do for a very long time. I originally had this plan to come up a long ass time ago. Really long time ago, but I couldn't, um, I, I, couldn't bring it to you uh, the way I wanted to. We are here. We are doing it now. And yeah, I, I cannot wait. The rival's name. i tell you what. Yeah, let's do it. First, first series on the channel. We are going to call the rival Draco. Uh, because as you can probably tell by looking at me, a lot of people tell me I look like Tom Felton, which we will put somewhere like there. Your guess is as good as mine. But the rival in this series, we will call Draco. And I cannot wait to get this started. One thing, I really don't know how I'm going to do. Sort of new to the whole commentary, commentator sort of stuff when it comes to the channel. So I may end up throwing in like a few cuts, a few transitions things like that maybe like a couple of swipes maybe like the sort of spinny rotation thing where it like fades out and then maybe because everyone knows how pokemon diamond pearl and platinum go you're here you're watching a randomizer people know it maybe just like one more swipe but hey we are here we are going to get to check out what our starter is in this series pretty much right now i am I, I have no clue. I have no clue what could be in these Pokeballs. Um, but I guess, first things first, I should explain a couple of the rules. Um, so what we're going to be doing in this series, as I said at the beginning, this is a randomized Nuzlocke to the absolute extreme. I have increased the level modifiers by 20% on all trainer Pokemon. We are not allowed in regular trainer battles to use any healing items inside of battles and inside of gym battles so trainers inside a gym the gym leaders themselves elite four champion we're allowed to use one healing item per battle this is partially make things a lot more challenging for myself and partially because i just want to see how how well I can sort of do in a really, really difficult environment. There are more rules to do with gyms, things like that, um, as we progress. First things first, I want to sort the settings out because one of the main things is the battle style, which we have to have on set for the entire game. I think for the time being, that'll do with the rules. We will, we will carry on the rules in a continuum throughout the series. Uh, but a lot of them are to do with sort of gyms, trainers, things like that. Which I don't think we're going to see too much of in today's episode. So the one thing we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the starters for this series. And I think we will start with the middle ball. Which is the Scratch Cat Pokemon Meowth. Then we'll go to the left. The light Pokemon Lantern. Okay. And finally. 
You vibration Pokemon Vibrava. Ah, okay. Okay. That's interesting. I think in terms of the Pokemon that are here, we are, we're going to go for Vibrava. Uh, yeah, Vi Vibrava is the obvious choice. Um, a Flygon would be absolutely incredible. The one other thing I forgot to mention is the abilities of Pokemon. All abilities are randomized. So this Vibrava could have an absolutely useless ability like Klutz. It could have huge power. We will wait and see. But I don't know if we're going to be able to check it straight away. Because we have a rival battle against Draco right here, right now. And we're just going to get straight underway. Straight underway. Which one is he going with? The Lantern. Okay. I think we're good with that. I think we are good with that. What moves do we have? Oh, we have Sonic Boom right off the bat. We have Sonic Boom, Faint Attack, Sand Tomb, and Sand Attack. So we have Stab. We have immediate 20 damage. And we have a move that doesn't miss. By Brava, you could quite possibly be the best choice for an early game starter we could have had. As long as you don't do that. Bubble shouldn't do too much. It's neutral. That did a lot more than I thought. Sonic Boom hits. This thing has a lot of HP. Wow, it has a lot more HP than I thought. Okay, it missed. We, we are good. That's Sonic Boom. Lantern down. As you can see, it's level 6. That is because of the 20% uh, boosted on the levels. 199 experience straight away. Is a full level for Vibrava. Amazing. Is... Two whole levels for Vibrava. No, come on. Gee! Three levels? Wow. All right. <laughs> Three whole levels right away. Perfect. So, I don't really know how long I want to go with this first episode. I don't want to put too much into it. It's very much an introduction to the series. We've got to see our starter. Most importantly, we should probably check our starter here. Vibrava. How are you doing? Quiet natured. Okay, so that lowers attack and boost speed, I think. Or is that lowered speed boosted special attack? How are you? Normalize. Normal eyes. Yeah. All right. That's great. So we have no stab on our starter Pokemon ever at all. I think the best thing for us to do would possibly be to try and get to maybe Sanjum Town in today's episode. Speak to the professor, nickname our Vibrava, and then maybe see if we can't find our first encounter, which will either be here at Lake Verity or on like Route 201, Route 202, something like that. We'll wait and see because we can buy Pokeballs. But yeah, I think that'll probably be the best place to sort of end off the episode for today. Um, and then, yeah, I accidentally just sped up. Didn't mean to do that. But I think, oh, we can scout out what is on this first route, and that's a Mareep. Okay. I am not opposed to putting Mareep on our team. A Mareep would be awesome. It can't live a Sonic Boom. That is good to know. We don't want to level Vibrava up any further. I want to catch Mareep. 
or another Pokemon. But of course, we don't have Pokeballs yet, so the Nuzlocke hasn't started. Our encounters do not count. Oh, please. Yes. Okay, forget forget Mareep. No, no, no. Mareep, I love you. This is a Luxray. All right, and if Luxray can live a Sonic Boom, I shouldn't have attacked that because if it knocks it out. Level 3 Luxray can't live a Sonic Boom. We're going to get a level off of that. Great. Okay. But level 3 Luxray can't live a Sonic Boom. But a Luxray on the team immediately. That would be something special. Ah, okay, so I guess we're probably adding an electric type to the team at some point providing we can catch it Because Magnezone, Luxray and Mareep all on route 201. I am 100% down for any of them Give me any of those Pokemon and I I'm good that is a powerful electric type Pokemon, regardless, on the team, straight away. Right then, Mr. Professor, let us nickname our Vibrava. I have no clue what to call this thing. This is... Um... This is... Derek. Derek is what we are calling this Flygon. It's not even a Flygon, it's a Vibrava, but that's what we're going with. We are going with Derek. Yep, we're happy with that name. Derek. Derek the Vibrava. Okay. So he's going to ask us to complete the Pokedex. Basically lying. Because we can't even catch all the Pokemon. And they're all randomized anyway, so chances are we might not even see every single Sinnoh Pokemon. But, I mean, kind of have to tell him that to progress on with the game. So. Oh, yeah. I forgot because he gives us TM27 here. We have randomized all TMs as well. So he says that TM contains return. What is it going to contain, though? That is something I really want to know. I really want to know what that contains. Okay, so. We have Derek, level 9. What was that TM? Reflect. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, to be fair could be quite good money it could be quite good money and we have 3600 already i'm gonna buy 10 pokeballs five potions and one antidote how much could we sell reflect for 500 i think i'll keep it for now because with the 20 percent boosted levels I don't know if that will come in handy or not, and I don't want to risk it. But, one thing we are able to do, because we have to go back, we have Pokeballs now, so the Nuzlocke has officially started. We can get our Route 2 in Wano counter, and slash or, we can get our Lake Verity encounter. And given that I kind of know what the odds are of us finding a Pokemon on Route 201. I want to see what we can get on Lake Verity. And our first encounter for the series is going to be a Curlia. Oh, okay. Keep him to nice and Gen 3. This thing would not leave. Yeah. Oh, man. What am I going to do? You won't eat any of our attacks. We would knock you out regardless. So, Curlia. One. Oh, 
kind of hoping it would live that. I say live that. Stay in that Pokeball. That would have been a great start. Do you, do you like milk? Do you like a fresh glass of milk? Because if you come on the team, we'll give you all the milk. No, it does, does not like milk. Right, well, forget that. Let's get our Route 2010 counter. Let's go. Come on. What's it going to be? <laughs> Celebi? Bruh. No. Really? I can't touch you. What am I going to do to you? Oh. How am I going to catch a Celebi? You're level 2, so I can't attack you. Huh. Leech Seed. Great. Yeah. What can I do to Celebi? Do you like cheeseburgers? Stay in the we'll give you a cheeseburger. No. He kinda likes cheeseburgers. We're now confused. We've never wanted to attack you. Probably shouldn't. What about a nice bacon cheeseburger? And a little bit of bacon in there. Really, really yummy. Yeah, we'll, we'll chuck all the bacon you want on top of it. Just stay in the ball. Yep, yep. Celebi! This is not how we do things here. All right. Double bacon cheeseburger. All right, last, last offer. Double bacon cheeseburger. You definitely don't want a double. Okay. You have recover. You have recover... Leech seed, uh, infusion, I think it was. On. Just in the ball. Please, I'm asking nicely. Stay in the ball. You're not a fan of manners. Fine. That's okay. You've got heal bell. Good for you. I don't know what I can do to this thing. There is literally nothing I can do to touch. Celebi. We could have got Mareep. Could have caught that. Could have got Luxray. I probably could have caught that a bit easier than I can catch a Celebi. <sighs> We've got three more balls. One Premier Ball. Yes! We've caught a Celebi! Celebration. Yes. <laughs> what do we call Celebi? What do we call Celebi? Um, bacon. Why not? We've got Derek and we got bacon. Hey, he likes bacon. He likes bacon cheeseburgers. He did sort of like the bacon cheeseburgers. He's holding an item. What are you holding? A lumberry. Okay. Okay. Bacon. Please. How much HP do you have? Because if you have more than 20 and I could have Sonic boomed you. You're lax natured. Okay. Flame body. Oh. Flame body. Body Celebi. 16 HP. We definitely could not have touched it. Boy! That is wild. We've got a Celebi. 
we've got a Celebi on the team in the first episode. That is mental. Derek, mate, your ability is bloody ridiculous. Terrible. Shocking. But Bacon has just more than made up for that. Flame body Celebi. I am so happy. I'm so happy. Hi, Mum. Yeah, I'm coming to tell you I'm leaving. I I'm gone. I've had enough of you. Yeah, we're, we're on our way. No, I don't need a journal. I'm no, I'm not 12. Technically, we're 10. I don't need a journal. So. Oh, no, no. No, Draco's not here. He's gone to Hogwarts. He's left as well. He's had enough. Can we deliver this? Fine. Fine. Yeah, we'll deliver it. We will deliver that for you. No problem. Well. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We have caught. We've got a great start to a team. In all fairness. We have Derek. We have Bacon. And I think, with that being said, this is pretty much the perfect place to cap off today's episode. This is a great, great first video to go on the channel. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. If you have liked it, please, down below, like, subscribe, comment. Comment question of the day, up above my head, like, up there. We, yep, words. What is your favorite starter Pokemon? That could be anything from Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, right the way through to Scorbunny, Sobble, and Grookey, all the way up in Gen 8. But let me know down below. Get some interaction going in the comments section. I've been your boy, the Fably Fred. Thank you so, so much for checking out episode number one of the Pokemon Platinum Overclock. And I will see you next time. Peace.